Hi all, welcome back to our uh, Minecraft how to make items. Yeah, sorry it's been a while since I've made one since, but yeah, I just hadn't had any idea to come up with. But I've got one now. Uh, you guys all uh, remember the old vanilla um, uh, cobblestone generator? Yeah, where you would make a trough and you would place a bucket of water. And wherever that uh, water ended up, you will place an adjacent bucket of uh, lava. And when they touch, boom, baby, you would have a cobblestone right there. And then you will stand on hours on end and grinding and grinding until there was no more. But that is a thing of the past, my friends. Because I would like to uh, present to you the vanilla... Cobblestone, come on, open the goddamn door, vanilla, whoa, you are not supposed to be in the picture. Sorry about that. Goddamn creeper trying to steal the picture, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll show, show you why I got that in a bit. Uh, yeah, and I would like to... Uh, present to you uh, the vanilla redstone no mods no nothing 2.0 cobblestone generator with on off switch let the cobblestone come to you baby with a hundred percent guarantee that you will get every single block And you're probably wondering, oh, that's just done with redstone and stuff like that. Yeah, but for those of you who don't know anything about redstone or how to make and or gates and stuff like that, this is how it is turned out to be. Right underneath here, we have our lava trough. And next to it over here, we got the water trough right here. And those two make this cobblestone right here which will then get pushed up by the piston down here then pushed out by this one but how to make them do it uh, with an interval uh, of each other simply by making this little clock type system here that goes in a counter clock right uh, <laughs> counter clock wise rotation Now I don't have any um, redstone torches on me, so I'm just going to grab one uh, right over here. Bam, thank you, give me that one. Well, this system here takes up uh, seven uh, redstone repeaters due to the fact of how big it is, but I'm pretty sure you could uh, figure out a way to make this thing smaller. Yeah, but... Right now it is uh, this size for me, and I I, uh, I like it that way. So yeah, first off, you place the six uh, redstone repeaters down in a uh, anti-clockwise uh, position. First two, skip a stone, turn, then one, skip a stone, turn, then two, and yeah, you get the you get the meaning. Then you place uh, place them all at maximum. Uh, yeah, maximum length so that it, it goes slowly around. You don't have to have it go fast. Then you uh, quickly place down a torch and remove it so you have this like uh, clock type dealio that it just goes around. And let's just remove that one. As soon as we place this one down, it will just blink a bit and then it will pulsate the. Um, Piston. Now we have here the an or gate. Uh, the vanilla type an or gate. Uh, of course, there are uh, mods out there that make them in a single block. But uh, yeah, this one requires three blocks to uh, work. Uh, in order for this to work, you place the three blocks torch on either side and a piece of uh, redstone between those two torches. 
And on the block with the redstone, you put another uh, redstone torch. That means both of these signals have to be off in order for the redstone torch down here to light up. Hence the pulsation effect. And also hence the on off switch I've got. The on off switch will uh, activate this redstone right here. First junction right here, which will activate this one right here. With this one turned off and this one pulsing, it will pulse the piston down here. Up, down, up, down. The same goes for that one over there. Which gives the effect that the, the lava, oh, let's just turn this bastard on, can, uh, has enough time to make a new block. Uh, I have a suggestion for you all, uh, for you all. On top, let's just place this block right here. This is where uh, the block comes up. On top of this block, place a uh, place uh, a um, uh, an obsidian block because the pistons cannot push obsidian blocks. Because when you turn off the system, if you don't uh, memorize the uh, sound of it and don't memorize that uh, you have to turn it off as soon as this one goes out one it will actually push the blocks up into the roof because you can't uh, you don't know where this is at the moment so yeah it will push the block up through the roof and if you have anything up uh, on top of your roof or wherever you want to place this thing uh, this magnificent contraption it will destroy everything you have upstairs and trust me it is not fun because I've built this on a uh, server with some of my friends and uh, yeah to start with uh, we had a room upstairs and it will continue to somehow uh, when we get in why the heck is there blocks up here there are cobblestone and stuff like that and then I remembered oh yeah my cobblestone generators downstairs so yeah place a obsidian block right on top of the uh, spawned lava block right here in order for the piston underneath not to push it up through the roof if you have anything upstairs but yeah um, this is the finished product we are now gonna go out and uh, I'm gonna make it for you outside so see you out there and here we are outside this beautiful minecraft day morning yeah in here we got all the things we will need in order to make our automatic cobblestone generator with on arch switch. Gonna need two pistons, seven redstone repeaters. I've made a couple of uh, a couple more, a few handful of uh, redstone torches, some re uh, redstone uh, dust, and a lever. Of course, you're going to need one bucket of lava and one bucket of water. First of all, we are going to go down here and we're going to set up the lava water system. So first make a trough for the water. Remember that the water uh, flows for eight blocks. So one, two, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's just get rid of some of these torches right here. Okay, come on, there we go. Place down your water bucket, uh, water uh, bucket, a uh, uh, bucket. It's, it's a bucket. Uh, yeah. And then place down your lava. Uh, your lava will flow for four blocks, but you have to place it so that uh, the lava only has one, two, three until it hits the water, because it is the number three right here that uh, will actually turn into a uh, cobblestone. So place it like so. You got an L shape. That's a, that's a big L shape. Okay, cool. 
I just saw that now. And boom, there you go. Now you could just stand here and uh, do your stuff. But that is not what we want to do. We want to make it automatic. Just place a single, uh, single block of any type, just cutting off the water supply. And if you really want to be safe about it, just pick up your lava bucket. You can always place it down again. But now you have a reference to where the lava will meet and make the cobblestone. So now we need to dig underneath. Whoop. Hello. What do you got on here? Ah, some mix of stuff. <laughs> okay. You could also make everything on the ground, I think. But nah, that's not what we're gonna do. Not in this uh, tutorial, at least. Let me just be able to get out of this mess. There we go. Uh, let's see. The piston should be right here. Okay, let's just place the console. Yoink. Okay, so the first of the pistons is going to go right here. So the best way to do that is like stand above it and look down bingo okay so we know that the water comes from there and hits the piston so in order for this to work we're going to have to do something like this the redstone has to connect to the piston if you do it like this it doesn't connect it has to connect into the piston in order for the piston to work Already here you got your first connection. Now for the piston that actually pushes the block. And here come uh, here uh, here comes the uh, universal type deal. You can place it any way you want it. It doesn't matter how this is shaped out. Uh, you can have it push one way or the other. It doesn't matter which way. So. Uh, for the demonstration of this purpose, uh, I'm gonna do it as we have, as I have done uh, downstairs, placing two blocks up where the water should be. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, that's wrong. There we go. This is the block that gets uh, created by the lava and pushed up, so that is where the piston should be. Perfect. Now you have a, another connection here. So, let me just get rid of this old thing that I thought I could make a moss cobblestone generator, but I couldn't. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now comes the part where you make the an or gate. So let's try and make it as close to this one as possible. Three. I always make it with two apart because yeah, it's easier to control that way. Put down your redstone on top here. And now for some torches. Place two torches on top. On either side of the redstone. On the back side of it, not facing the machine, but on the back side of it, you're going to have two leads going into where the torches are. Bam. And on the other side here, you're going to have a torch and then another lead. The first one right here, when you are on the back side looking at the cobblestone generator, the first one on the right is going to be the one that pushes the cobblestone up. The next one on the left is the one that's going to be pushing the cobblestone away from uh, the system. Why that is, it's because of the uh, setup I have with the uh, anti-clockwise position of the uh, redstone repeaters right here. You could go the other way around if you make the repeaters go clockwise. Then you'll just have to say that the one on the left 
pushes them away and the one on the right pushes them up. Hope I'm not confusing you too much, but uh, yeah. <laughs> if you just have a little bit of knowledge with redstone, you should be falling quite good. Or else you can just follow me as I'm building this. <laughs> okay, let's just connect this one and this one. As you can see, that is why I have them two apart. Because it connects up perfectly. Now for the switch. I made it so that uh, the cobblestone will get pushed. That just placed down the lava bucket because I'm going to put cobblestone on top of it right now. The cobblestone will be pushed out this way. So... I thought to myself, why not just make a switch next to where the cobblestone comes out? Bam! Whoop, that we cannot do. But yeah, here's the deal, here's the deal. It has to connect like that into the piston. But here, it doesn't matter at all, because it is a redstone source. It will still continue to light up the block. This block right here. Not, uh, this one is getting the power. This one is uh, receiving it. Okay. Now we need to go out and around all of them. And in order to figure out how long you can make it, just keep this, uh, just keep it lit. Then you will be able to see. Okay, and there it stops right there. I always go two back in order to get the maximum power. Uh, well, you don't need to, but I just do that. And then you go over here. Okay, I don't want to destroy that one too much. But yeah, you get the deal. Bam. The first torch is uh, now... Uh, uh, yeah, turned off. And because I don't want to destroy this, we are going to go into why I had one uh, that uh, weird-looking bag before. As you can see here, I have got a, uh, I've got total my, a lot of uh, pages and mods on here. That is because I'm doing this with the uh, uh, FTP, FTP uh, uh, Unleashed, uh, yeah, FTP Unleashed Launcher. So we are going to go in here and there we go. Wireless receiver. Whoa. Oh yeah. But we're gonna go do this. Wireless receiver. Yeah. And. And transmitter. This one will now get us uh, get a source, and this one will get a source. Whoa! Sorry. I think it's the other way around, right? This one, this one transmit, and this one receives. Number one. Hmm. This one should transmit that signal. Oh well. See, when it comes to mods, I am completely a noob. This one, yeah, this one transmits, and this one should receive. There we go. Now it works. Damn it. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay, as you can see here, now you can, uh, with mods you can do it like that. Okay, okay, cool. Visualize that I have done it like I have done it down in my cellar, where this redstone line here just continues on over to this spot right here with another repeater. So yeah, now the only thing we need to do is take a redstone torch. Whoops, first of all, let's make sure that all of these are on maximum. Flick it on. Whoa. Whoops. And of course, that block has turned into ice because it's cold. Oh my god. It just went to hell in a handbasket for me right here. <laughs> my god. There we go. Perfect. And now to the point where you see this. As you saw, it pushed that one up. And it will always push that one up. So, for that not to happen, whoop. Okay, what happened? Yeah. Something happened with the transmission. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Well. Again, you stealing the picture. Don't steal the picture. Now, let me just uh, go in and get a uh, obsidian, and I'll show you why. And here we go. Bam. Push, uh, put a block on top of it, and it won't be able to push the obsidian block up. See? It doesn't push the obsidian block up, even though we... Uh, nothing happens, but it will still push it out. <laughs> so yeah, hope you found this uh, tutorial enlightening. And uh, yeah, I will just uh, do a little bit of cheat mode here. So you can see this from above. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I can't remember what it was. No. Ah, I think it was. Yeah. And thank you all so very much for watching. A catch on the flip side.